Hey everyone, it's Faye here and welcome back to my no poo journey. Today is 175, we're on week 20, we're in December and today I want to try something I haven't tried before which is um, washing my hair with rye flour. One of you commentated saying, commentated? Commented saying how it works really well for your hair even though you've got hard water so I said I'd give it a go. And here we are. In my last wash, well my last video I just did, did I do my shampoo bar? I might have just done water only, either one, I can't quite remember. But my last wash actually used baking soda, which works really well on my hair. Makes it nice and clean, makes it nice and soft, makes it nice and shiny. But um, I still get this like hard water residue after. I managed to buy a couple of scrunchies for my hair, which are better for your hair than um, regular hair bubbles. So I've been using these. Um, my brush is pretty clean today, it's got a few hairs in there but it's pretty much clean. So I'm just going to give it a brush, I did give it a bit of a brush last night. My scalp is unbearably itchy, been itching for about two days now. I was going to wash my hair a couple of days ago, um, as it's been a while. But I just never had the chance to, other things came up to do during the day and I only wash my hair in the morning because it takes forever to dry and needs all day to dry so it's pointless of washing it at night time because I just get my pillow wet. So I'm just going to give this a quick brush today. I will be layering my hair in the shower to use this rye flower with. I'm really hoping it's going to work because I have to go for like a job interview <laughs> afterwards after this so hopefully it won't ruin my hair. So I went out and bought some rye flour. I was recommended to get white rye flour because it has got the huskers or something in it. I've got this, I've got a bowl behind the camera and I'm just gonna put a few tablespoons of this in the bowl and mix it with water and I've been told to mix it to like a shampoo type consistency. And then I'm gonna put it on my hair and just kind of massage it in layer by layer and we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to do the apple cider rinse afterwards one, because I haven't got any apple cider vinegar, and two, because it doesn't make my hair smell like vinegar. A lot of people say it doesn't make their hair smell, but it does make my hair smell, and my boyfriend doesn't appreciate it, and to be honest, I don't really appreciate it, and I don't really want to go smelling like vinegar today, so <laughs> we're going to leave the apple cider vinegar wash. I'm absolutely covered in hairs. So it will tickle my arms. So I'm going to hop in the shower now, and, well, I'll just show you what my hair's like. It's not actually that bad. It's more flat than greasy. Um, but it is a bit greasy at the top, could be worse. So as you can see it's my hair. My scalp is sore because I've been scratching it so much. So as you can see my hair isn't too bad. But it hasn't been washed since, um, oh god, it hasn't been washed since like early last week. It's now Monday today. So I washed it like either mid last week, probably like on the Wednesday or something. And here we are, so it's been a few days. So I'm just gonna go and hop in the shower now and rinse my hair and see how it goes. And then I'll get back to you guys once it's completely dry. So it's about five o'clock in the evening and I've just took my hair out of a French plait. And I just thought I'd give you a quick update. It's not completely dry yet, the ends are still wet, but oh my goodness. <laughs> My hair feels really, really nice. I was really sceptical in the shower because, you know, it's really gloopy. It's like gloopy flower and putting it on your hair. I was like, is this going to work? And from what I can feel so far, my hair feels absolutely amazing. It doesn't feel sticky. The back of my hair doesn't seem to have really any build up. Maybe just like slight. And I washed it like really quickly. It's not as if I look like I spent ages on it. I did as quick as I could and my hair feels so soft I don't know if you can see it because the lights a bit poor now in this room because it's absolutely pitch black outside but I don't know if you can see but my hair feels really shiny and it feels really soft so so far so good I will get back to you once it's completely fully dry which I'll probably do tomorrow morning when it's light so you can see the light a bit better but it's really good so far so the person who um, gave this advice to me. I'll put their name down below. Thank you. Um, it has worked really well so I'm gonna see um, if I can keep this up and how 
long it will stay good for and hopefully I won't get any um, extra builder. So I just thought I would uh, mention that. So I will get back to you guys once it's fully dry and we'll have a good look at it then in the good light. So good night guys and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Boop. Hey guys, it's the morning after. I have literally just got out of bed and just put a jumper on. And my hair is completely dry and it feels absolutely lovely. I would just say the ends feel a little bit dry, but I think it's because it's not straightened. Um, like if I actually try and straighten out with my fingers, they actually feel perfectly fine. And my hair is super duper clean. My scalp is really clean. I know you can't really see it that well on here. But yeah, the rye flower did really, really good. And it wasn't like, it wasn't such a hard task to deal with in the shower because I literally just quickly separated each layer just so I got it all on my scalp. And then I had, I made quite a bit. Um, I made like four massive heat teaspoons full because my hair's quite thick. Um, with water to make it like gloopy, like a shampoo-y kind of, a really watery, doughy kind of texture. And then I literally just put it all over my hair on the, ends and everything literally like lathered my hair in this rye flower left it on for probably one minute max and then washed it all out and yeah it's absolutely like beautifully clean it's really soft so i'm gonna stick with this for a bit i'm gonna see how long um I can go without it getting greasy and then I'll get back to you guys in the next video and tell you how it went for the next week or so and hopefully this won't dry out my hair or anything because I don't know after maybe a few uses with it that it might dry out so I'm going to see if I can wait till my hair gets like quite greasy before I wash it again because I have a feeling that if it's not that greasy it might dry out my hair that oh if it's not that greasy it might dry out my hair a bit quicker um, which I don't really want it to do at all, but you wouldn't think flour would have such a good um, like cleaning effect on your hair, like I never imagined it, so thank you for <laughs> suggesting this, it's been really good, so I'm going to give this a go now for um, as long as I can, if it will stay like this, if it will stay this clean with just the flour, um, I'll definitely stick with that because it was really easy to deal with, um, the bag of flour didn't cost that much, I think it was like pound fifty or pound eighty for that um, bag of flour, which I don't have. I think, actually, I think it's over here. So this was from Sainsbury's as well, and Sainsbury's quite is um, a rip-off. So <laughs> I can imagine you could probably get it cheaper somewhere else. So that was for a kilogram. And it was just this rye flour I used. Just white rye flour. Um, nothing special. And I just added water with it. Um, I didn't add, like, filtered water or anything. Did I add filtered water? Yeah, I added my shower filtered water to it, so I put it under the shower head, I remember now. I just did that and um, wet my hair and lathered it on, as they say, and just obviously massaged my head as I did it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna probably... No, nah, I don't think I'm even gonna straighten it, because it's not even that frizzy. It was quite frizzy yesterday, like, after the shower. Um, after I, it was like, just before I went to bed, after my hair was quite dry, but not amazingly dry and I brushed it a bit, it went a bit like poof like my hair used to do when it was really dry but now it's kind of calmed down and I did put it in plaits so it's kind of a bit everywhere in my hair but yeah that's the back so yeah 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 so far so I hope you've enjoyed this video guys I hope you've learnt something, we've tried something new um, if you're struggling with hard water maybe try give this a go like I've done um, it doesn't seem to have any build up at the back but we shall see how that goes because I know that's going to be a big problem area so I'll keep an eye on that and get back to you guys next week for another video have a brilliant day guys and I'll see you soon bye